Hey y'all, I guess you could say I'm in my experimentation era with this video. My normal videos are more talking head videos, but I'm curious to see how you guys like this style of content because y'all are always asking for day in the life videos. And so I thought that I would switch it up a little bit and see how this goes. can't believe that I've been making videos here on YouTube for what like over a year and a half now that's crazy and some of you have been here since the very beginning and so you get to see me switch up my content quite a bit because I'm still a new creator I am still figuring out my style and what works for me and uh, it's just a big experiment still but I really do enjoy the creative process for sure. It's been it's been an incredible creative outlet for me after my accident and it's been very therapeutic and healing and just overall a really good thing for me. Also, I recently got this new eyeshadow palette by ColourPop and I am obsessed i know that you can probably tell my eye makeup has been different lately and this palette kind of got me to switch it up a little bit and i just i love it so much the thick black grungy eyeliner may be like dated but i don't know it feels like such a vibe and i just feel like a badass when my eyeliner looks good so <laughs> maybe try that if you're looking for a pick me up Anyways, this is how I transform from goblin to halfway presentable most days. I don't go through this whole process every single day, but I certainly do it a lot more than I did say like a year ago because I have found that for me, if I take the time to sit down and do my makeup and do my hair, it actually makes me more productive throughout the day because if I don't do it and I'm just going to want to stay in pajamas all day and I don't know, in a weird way, this helps me stay productive. Okay, so this entire section is really hard for me to leave in just because it is such an unflattering angle, but I do have a reason that I left this in here. So I get asked all the time about my neck mobility and as you can see, watching me attempt to fix my hair, it's really hard for me to do things that involve raising my like arms up to my head. I have a really difficult time with that and I don't really like to get on here and talk about the things that I can't do. I tend to focus on the good things but I know that, you know, people want honesty and transparency so here I am being honest, vulnerable, and transparent at the absolute most unflattering angle possible. And a couple months ago, I almost chopped all of my hair off, but I'm glad I didn't because now that it's longer, I have found that I can get by with only washing it one day a week. And so on hair washing day, I know that there's gonna be a lot of time dedicated to washing, drying, straightening. But if I tough it out on that one day a week, it's usually fairly easy for me to keep up with the rest of the days. And so that's why I haven't chopped it off. I'm kind of liking the long hair just because it's like the longer my hair gets, the more separated, I guess you could say, that I feel from everything with the accident. Anyways, so I am getting ready to go to the doctor for a follow-up since I started taking the generic version of Bonjaro. I've done really well with it so far. I'm not sure how much weight I've lost, but I know I had to have lost weight because I can barely eat anything. I am having so much trouble like eating enough at this point. I have not had a single hunger pain in a month. Weight loss aside, the things that this medicine has done in my brain has been just astounding. I wish the insurance companies and pharmaceutical companies would just like fast forward six months where this is available to everyone at an affordable price because I truly believe this would just help so many people. Also, some of you have been asking about Lee and I just realized that I haven't given an update. 
He's doing really well so far, but we're both a little apprehensive because he's about to go back to work. And although he's pretty pain free right now, he hasn't been doing anything. So I think he's just been gun shy to like move around and we're just really hoping that he stays with a tolerable pain level when he goes back to work and is actually doing all of the lifting and all of that again. Normally by this time I'm in a pretty significant amount of pain. Luckily my daughter was home and stopped in to help me get the bobby pins and stuff done so I could rest my neck a little bit. We were laughing because I had forgotten that I was recording as you can tell by me being out of the frame. <laughs> That's as good as she's gonna get. All right, it's time to go weigh in at the doctor's office. Y'all remember how bad the scars on my legs were? Well, this is what they look like now. They definitely look better, but still not attractive, but <laughs> that's all right. They certainly tell a story, don't they? Well, I lost seven pounds my first month on Terzepatide. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Let me know how you like this format and maybe we can do it again real soon. Bye.